Happy New, New Year's, Year's Flyers. Flyers! We hope you had a great time over the break. I'm Genevieve Carmody. And I'm Kate Johnston. And you're watching the rundown for the week of January 6, 2023. Over the past couple of years, Loyola has been affected of the loss of some of our classmates. What was once an idea has now become a reality. Here's Carrington Carter to shine a light on the new Memorial Garden. We walk by this spot every day at Loyola College Prep, and we know it is a special place. After months of construction and planning, the Memorial Garden has been dedicated. Memorial Garden was a project that was started at the beginning of last year. Um, over the course of the summer, the Memorial Garden behind me was built, and it is today that the Memorial Garden was finally finished um, by a, through a dedication by Father Rainey Johnson. Um, it was a wonderful project. Its intent was to honor the students who have passed away during their time at Loyola, and now it will be a, a beautiful space where students can come and reflect um, on their classmates, pray to God, read the Bible, pray the rosary. Um, I just want to say thank you to the loyal community and um, my team and everybody that made uh, this effort possible. Life doesn't get any better than watching people live the mission of Loyola College Prep. This was a fabulous project because we had both student involvement and faith in action that were married together. Um, our students all did something different. Our student leaders used their skills to, and that would be Declan and Maeve and Aubrey and Charlotte, they used their skills to communicate with people. I can't count the number of emails that they sent out, the, the outreach that they did. And then the student body really got involved and got behind the project. Um, people went to a bowling alley that probably had never been at a bowling alley before and were like, well, this is kind of cool. And then they went to a golf course and had never been at a golf course. All, both of our fundraisers to raise money for the project. Um, most importantly, this wasn't done for themselves. This was done for other people to be men and women for others. And so um, that's about as good as it gets. And so it was a wonderful project. I think we all I think we all learned something about uh, something about ourselves through this project, and it was good. We lived the mission. Well, I'm Father Rainey Johnson, and we just blessed our memorial garden to remember those students who left us during their time here at Loyola. And so we had a great experience where some of the families were able to come out, and we were able to share this moment with them. And I'm just impressed by the students who helped orchestrate this because it just shows them going out and living their, their faith in action and showing their Christian faith to the world by doing this for their fellow students. So we thank God for this day that he's given us this beautiful garden. And we hope to use it throughout the rest of this year and in the future so it can be a space of prayer and a space of growing closer to the Lord. Thank you to all who made this happen. This has been Carrington Carter. We are so happy to have this a part of our school. Hey Kate, what are your New Year's resolutions? To drink less Diet Coke. Mm, that's a tough one, but I wonder what everyone else's resolutions are. Here's Mary Albertson to share. Happy New Year, Flyers. 2023 has already begun, and I'm wondering what your New Year's resolutions and expectations are. My New Year's resolution is to drink more water. My New Year's resolution is to become top five in state for tennis. My New Year's resolution is to eat healthier. My New Year's resolution is to drink more water. Those all sound good to me. This has been Mary Elberson. Hey Genevieve, what's your resolution? To work on my sleep schedule. Good luck with that. On Monday the 9th, everyone will be asking the same question. Frogs or dogs? Here's Jack Walls to predict the NCAA National Football Champion. National Championship, national championship between Georgia and TCU, who's winning? I gotta go with TCU. There we go. There. What's the score prediction? Final score? Say TCU 93, uh, Georgia 0. 90 to 0, frogs by 90. Gotta go to see you. What's the final score? 14-7 um, TCU. Low scoring game. 14-7? Low, Low scoring game. So take game. the under you're saying? Yes. Take I'm the under, okay. Game. Take Bad. the under. Well, Sonny Dykes is going to come up to a strong start in the first, second, and third quarters, and then he's going to blow it in the fourth quarter. Georgia's going to win by six points. National championship, Georgia, TCU, who's winning? Georgia's going to win, but I'm going for TCU. You, Matthew. Uh, excuse me, excuse Matthew me. You kind of yeah, just. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> national championship this Monday between Georgia and TCU. Who's winning? Oh, you know, Georgia all the way. Savannah, Savannah. National championship prediction Georgia, TCU. TCU all the way. Frogs by 90? Yeah, Max Duggan. Well, here's the deal. If Georgia would have won big over Ohio State, I would pick TCU, but I'm scared that 
Coach Smart has driven them hard this week, and I'm thinking George is probably going to win this as much as I hate it. What are your national championship predictions? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get a lot of hate on this, but TCU is coming. They've worked for it all year, and they're going to they're going to take the ring. That's it. It's in the stars, man. It's in the stars. There we go. Now I got to ask you, Walls. Okay, you ask me. Hello, everyone. I'm taking over for Walls here. So, Walls, who do you think is going to win the Natty? Frogs by 90. There we go. There we go. Molly, who's winning national championship between Georgia and TCU? Wait, what? Oh, TCU all the way. The library to see who, who knows football in here. Blaine. Blaine. What are your national championship predictions between Georgia and TCU? Um, I'm going to have to go with Georgia because uh, TCU, they suck. Well, uh, I was next to Trevor when he said TCU, but I am saying no. Georgia is just such a dominant team that they're just going to dominate. I mean, dominate? Yeah. Georgia. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, uh, since I know some of my fellow flyers, Georgia is going to be the one. It's going to be Georgia. Dogs, you ready for the dogs? There we go. There All we right. go. That's it. You heard it here. You heard it here. Georgia by 12. By 12? 12. So what's the final score? Um, Can I do the math real quick? 28-24, <laughs> Georgia. That's not 12. There we go. <laughs> my final prediction for the game, uh, My, I'm rooting for the frogs. My money is on the dogs, though. I'm going to say Georgia, like, 35 24. Who do you think is going to win? Since our mascot is a dog, I'm going for the other dogs. Me too. Go Georgia. While most of y'all were relaxing over Christmas break, our Flyer athletes continue to persevere. Here's Zoe Williamson with this week's sports report. Even though we have been out for two weeks, our sports teams have not stopped working hard. So let's catch up on this week's sports report. The girls basketball team played two games in the Minden tournament as well as three games in the airline tournament. The Lady Flyers got a win over Woodlawn over Christmas break. The boys basketball team played in the Minden tournament and got a win over Homer, as well as the airline tournament and beat Hornbeck 46-37 and Gibsland Coleman 55-50. They played Manny on Tuesday and won 67-33. Cohen Spain led the Flyers with 12 points. Wednesday, the boys played Red River and won with a score of 58-50. Cage Van Norman dropped 29 points and Kayla Branch had 11 assists. Their record is 9-9. Both teams play at home tonight against St. Mary's and the boys played to Ritter on Saturday in the Bossier Tournament. The girls soccer team played Alexandria Tuesday and won with a score of 2-0. And on Wednesday, the Flyers beat Benton with a score of 5-0. The team travels down to Lafayette this weekend to play Mount Carmel, Acadiana, and St. Thomas More. The Lady Flyers are ranked number one in their division with a record of 9-1-3. The boys' soccer team traveled to Monroe over break for the St. Frederick Tournament. They ended with one win over West Washita. On Tuesday, they played Ruston and tied 0-0. Thursday, they played Airline and won with a score of 3-2. Goals from Tyler Hornsby, Casey Wall, and Jackson Silman. They have a home game Saturday morning at 10 a.m. against Parkway. Way to go, Flyers, and keep up the good work. And good luck to all the teams playing this weekend. This has been Zoe Williamson with the Sports Report. Keep up the good work, Flyers. That's all for this week's rundown. Let's make 2023 a good one. Have a great weekend, Flyers. See ya! We are so happy to have this a part Sorry, of our... Sorry, flew in my... <laughs> hey, Genevieve, what's your... Your... <laughs> We did the same thing. What's your new? It's when you get to like your new, it's like the, the pronunciation. Good luck with that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>